Hello, welcome to Minecraft Maker. This is Theron, and uh, we're going to do part two of our uh, automated chicken egg farm. Oh, well, I did not need to come out here. Uh, automated egg farm farm thingy. Um, I think I accidentally called it the chicken processing unit. So that's what we'll call it. That's a good name. So it'll be the chicken processing unit 3.0. This is my third design revision. All right. Um, okay. So we need to. Uh, I need to start building. So this is. Oh, where do we leave this? Okay. So this block here will be pushed by the sticky piston. No, it will be here. The sticky piston needs to go there. It'll push it in here to crush, crush the chickens. And then this is the, the level at which we need to actually start building the, uh, the actual chicken reservoir, right? So this is, this will be one block here. This will be a block here. This needs to be the corner that they go into. So not there. Um, needs to be here. It needs to extend out from here, out there, and it's five on each side, right on, on the inside. Ouch. Ooh, so we get to eat more chicken. Yum. <laughs> All right. Okay, that was silly. So let's um, I build some scaffolding up here. So so this is the one, two, three. Four, five on the inside and then the back is here all right so same thing here it's the corner so this will be the one two three four five and that's the back One, two, three, four, five, and one more for the side, and we can connect. Okay, so that'll actually be the, okay, good. And then we need to actually fill it. We need to make it solid on the bottom at least, right? Because it is a pond, it needs to have a solid bottom. All right, so. I need to make a way to get up there. I need uh, scaffolding on the side so I can get up and actually start building up there. Let's do it on this side because this is the least critical. Wait. Uh. 
All right, so this will be the bottom of it. And uh, do I have another dropper here? Yes, I do. All right, so the bottom layer will have water. And if I place, so much easier in creative mode. So I've, I have a bucket of water here, imagine that. So if I come here and place this bucket of water, it'll flow over to the side and will not flow over. All right, perfect. So if I then jump down in it, I will then float over to this hopper. Perfect. All right, so let's go pick up this water. Okay, now I want the whole skin of this, everything that you can see, to be uh, bricks. Um, so that, that includes the bottom of this and the sides and the whole front here. So instead of uh, going through the hassle of replacing them after the fact, like I can do with most of the rest of it, let's go get some bricks. I should have done that before I came over here. And it's a little afternoon, so we have limited time left here. But I should be able to replace all those and get the get the actual um, reservoir sort of uh, fleshed out today. I think I have some. Okay, good. I will have to cook more, and we can use our new uh, device for doing that. Yeah. Okay. Interesting. Okay, let's make some space here. Um, chicken. Um, eggs. So I'll put that in the other one over there. I've got chicken feathers here. I'm not very organized. I need to. I need to improve that piece of it. I don't need to be carrying a lot of this stuff, but eggs going here. Okay. So I can pick up, I've got cobblestone up the wazoo here. So I can walk over to our automated uh, smelting system and just drop in cobblestone and smelt down a uh, stone and just let that go. It'll take care of itself. Hi there, Mr. Bowser. Yeah, I named my bow after one of my dogs. It was a bow. His name is Bowser. It seemed uh, appropriate. So he is uh, sitting at my feet right now. We had a little earthquake um, last night. And he was pretty badly freaked out. Not by the earthquake itself. But uh, he was badly freaked out um, all before the earthquake. And we can't figure out if he was doing a sort of early warning thing or yes i'm talking about you um if he was if he was sort of doing the early warning thing and we could have figured out from his behavior that something was going to happen or if he uh if he wasn't feeling well when he's sitting at my feet right now he's going to start um begging to sit up here on my lap which makes playing minecraft a little difficult but you know it's sweet. Okay, so let's replace these. We can use the dirt for the for the sort of interior skeleton of the of the whole thing. Um, and as a, I like using dirt as a building material because it's it doesn't um, have the you know sand is kind of sucks because it it has the gravity thing going. Um, dirt does not so you can place it and then sort of get it to s stay up in the air if you place it next to something that's uh, 
appropriately anchored and then dig out the other thing and leave, leave uh, blocks of dirt hanging up in the air which is kind of cool. Sun's going down. I need to be careful. Oops. I need to put some torches up here. In theory, I should be able to work through the night. The, uh, in general, the, my whole area here should be relatively safe. Um, but, hey Bowser, yeah, I know. Ow, no, don't scratch me. But, of course, while it's dark out, you get the beasties spawning in the dark areas surrounding the house, surrounding the compound. So I don't, uh, I shouldn't stay out here too long. I have plenty of materials. I should just make another bed. And I can make it up here on top while I'm working up here and then move it down. Okay, pick up my dirt. Let's go pick up the other dirt. Make sure I don't have any skeletons that are going to shoot at me while I rush back to the house. Yeah, let's go pick up some wool. Let's make a bed. It's a little nerve-wracking out here after dark. What was that? Okay, so I have plenty of wool here. I have plenty of blue wool because that is uh, I have a crafting table right here. Uh, plenty of blue wool because that is the um, my sheep flock is all blue. And then let's do that. Hey, I've got another bed. All right, let's go to sleep. And go back. Creeper. Ah, take that. You gonna die? No. Now you will. Yeah. Oh, well, there's a few of them over there. Creepers aren't terribly observant, are they? I mean, if, if they don't see you... Okay, that's fine. If they don't see you, they don't do anything. Hey, buddy. I'm sorry, Bowser. You're going to have to stay down there, okay? Instead of my feet. Okay. It gets a little hard with him in my lap to uh, pick up my arrows and my experience. All right. Good boy, Bowser. Okay, let's get back over there and continue working. We'll place the bed and. Um, So we can work. I don't have to rush back to the house to go to sleep at night. It'll make things easier. All right. Oh look, I'm a tad bit peckish. Let's eat some chicken. I got so much chicken, it's not even funny. All right. Hello. Here we are. So let's uh, let's go ahead and place the bed here. And the bed. I don't need the water for the time being. Alright. Place the bed. Okay. Excellent. Oh look, I'm hungry. Munch, munch, munch. Okay. 
So let's uh, finish placing the front blocks here because I want these to be brick. The whole, the whole outside I want to be skinned in brick. Now, I don't want to go down too far right now because I'm going to have to do the redstone in the front redstone wiring so I don't want to block things up too much so okay excellent so let's keep going so the bottom layer will be the water source block over here flowing out and then I need a layer that's going to be all signs and I need I'm probably going to need to get some wood for that but I'll show you what we're going to do about that uh, because wood is not a problem as you might see right there um, that's my little tree farm um, now I'll show you I have some trees that I've planted and uh, but I've been playing around with uh, large trees and uh, works pretty well and uh, with this axe I have it, it goes pretty quickly so we, we have all the wood we need um, get more bricks and we'll have to rush back to our automated smelting system to uh, to get more stone and make more stone bricks probably before we're done here okay jump down place that now we need some dirt as scaffolding and um, up so this level is all going to be signs um, how much wood do I have let's uh, let's go get the wood it's still early enough I can show you how that works and having the uh, the skeleton uh, farm skeleton grinder or whatever you want to call it is actually quite uh, convenient because these trees generate pretty quickly and all you need is some bone meal and I got all the bones I need all right so put our axe on the ready bar and I already cleared away the the the, uh, the leaves from this level cut up into the trees and cut stairs as I go spiral around there they are three by three trees so that's convenient and they don't get all that tall um, and all I need to do is just cut out the oops oh let's see here there's some of these leaves so I accidentally wear down my axe it's kind of hard on the axe. This is roughly as tall as it gets, so go take care of this. Uh, I got more wood up there. Wow, this one got big. Nice. Oh, this one did get big. Once I get all the branches, the leaves should start disappearing. Oops. Oh, is there another one hiding over there? Wow, look at that. Hi, buddy. Oh, there's one hiding over here a couple more nice I see one up there too okay that should take care of it right yeah they're starting to disappear now okay good okay let's any guesses as to how many pieces of wood we get out of this I've gotten doing a tree like this I've gotten 
a stack and a half of wood, the best one I ever had.